Hi, this is Dr. B. Let's do the SO3 2 minus Lewis structure. For the SO3 2 minus uh, compound, we have 26 total valence electrons, and that includes these two electrons up here. They're two extra valence electrons. So we have 26. Let's put the sulfur at the center and the oxygens around the outside. Put two electrons between the atoms, form chemical bonds. We've used six. And then around the outside atoms. So we have 6, 8, 10, and 24. And then we have two left over. We'll put them right here on the central atom. So we've used all 26 valence electrons. And the structure looks pretty good. Each of the atoms has an octet. We've used the 26 valence electrons. So this is a possible structure for the sulfide ion, SO3 2 minus. Since sulfur is in the third period on the periodic table, it can hold more than eight valence electrons. So, so we, we should check our formal charges here to see if this is the best structure. For the sulfur on the periodic table, it has six valence electrons. We have here on the Lewis structure two non-bonding, and then these right here are all involved in bonds. So six over two, six minus two, minus 6 over 2 is a positive 1 for the central sulfur. For the oxygens, and they're all the same, so we'll just do one on the periodic table, 6 valence electrons. Non-bonding, we have 6 non-bonding for each of the oxygens, and then 2 bonding. 6 minus 6 minus 1 gives us minus 1 for each of the oxygens. So, so this makes sense. I have a plus 1 here, and then 3 of the minus ones, and that all adds up to negative two. So this makes sense as a structure, and I can put brackets around it and show that it is indeed an ion. I see this plus one here on the central sulfur, and I know if I pull a pair of electrons from the oxygen and form a double bond, that'll go to zero. So I'd like to try that and see what it looks like. So here I've taken these two valence electrons out here, and I've moved them in to form a double bond with the sulfur. That results in this oxygen here and the sulfur now having zero for their formal charge. And these remain at a negative one, which makes sense. We have a negative one, negative one. That keeps our negative two right here. And we've still used the number of valence electrons that we were initially given. So this may actually be a better Lewis structure for SO3 2 minus because the formal charges, we have more formal charges at zero than we did in the previous structure. So that's the SO3 2 minus Lewis structure. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.